Hi there, my name's Trunev, I'm the only me there is, and welcome to a game called Backbone. But this is not just any normal game, this is actually the prologue, a demo version of the game Backbone, which will come out approximately in 2020. Now, this game came out, well, this demo came out a few days ago and it immediately caught my eye for both the art style and from the description, the type of game it could be. It sells itself as a, uh, sort of point-and-click adventure but revolutionizing on the concept to include things like stealth and such and it's about a detective in a city that well you'll see soon enough and I'll make my comparisons when we get there but but what most caught my eye really and this is in the description even is that it's set in a dystopian Vancouver so I love dystopias so here we go let's see what this game is all about well this pro uh, this demo anyway Pixel art, beautiful pixel art. I mean, I don't know if you can tell by now I love pixel art, but this one looks even better. Hmm, what is that? A phone I hear. So right off the bat, I'm going to start making the... Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Hello? Oh, I thought I had to click. Just enough time to clean up. Or maybe I do. Aha, here we go. AD to move around, E to interact with objects. Do I even need the mouse at this point? I don't know. I I do not. Okay. So, as you can see, we play as a raccoon detective, a PI. I've been playing detectives lately, I know. But, uh... This, this game, this the city we live in, the characters... I'd say this is easily comparable to Zootopia, if Zootopia were, you know, not happy-go-lucky and instead a little darker, because it look, definitely looked dark. Let's close the file. Oh, sorry, case files. Insurance frauds, lost cars, and strange lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files eventually. Ah, fellow procrastinator. Yes, sir, I understand that feeling. Living room. Nah. Inspect desk. Oh, we have the usage for the mouse now, okay. Drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Ooh. Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess, huh? Guess I gotta take the, the plate? Right, I can't drag for some reason, so let's get out. Yeah, I think I just had to take the plate. Is this just a tutorial to take the, the things to the kitchen or something? Office media set. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fuzzdale. I'm gonna have cash, so never. Oh, dude. Stop it. Stop relating. Please. I I'm not a PI, not yet. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Priorities. Man, this guy. Clever writing already, I love it. Photochemicals. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Man, I don't know. Man, just look at the glint of the window. There's a bit of 2.5D going on here, and I like that. Can we look out the window? Hard to get tired of this view. Place dishes. Aha! The first big objective. I think I have to press E more than once. I'll wash these later. Probably not. All right, let's go to the toilet. Toilet books, yes. The Great Apes, the Great Story. Swell toilet read. Better leave it here. Well, I guess we gotta go. Better go back out then. Can I run? Yeah. Whoa, -ho -ho! not so fast, buddy boy. You run faster than than the camera can actually keep up. Oh, place chemicals. Okay, got it. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> Was that, was that a joke, or... Uh, that must be Mrs. Green. Hello? Mrs. Green? Ah. Oh, right, because I'm a PI. I live where I work. I work where I live, so... 
so far so good. He checks out as relatable, procrastinator, uh, has his priorities set, and he lives where he works. Cool. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone? Hmm. At your service, Mrs. Green. Trust you have had a pleasant day. Oh, and listen to that suave classic music. Beautiful. I've had better. I've had worse. Truthfully, my back's killing me today. <laughs> Pregnancies are rough on the spine, let me tell you. And please, Odette is fine. Sorry if you see me crouching a little, the camera's right in the way of the, the dialogue, so... <laughs> this your first? Third! My oldest, Daisy, will be seven soon. Uh, oh, sorry. And... Elliot just turned three. They must be a handful. They can be, but mostly they're sweet kids. Ah, frickin' Colin. All kinds of helpful. They're my silver lining. What do you mean by silver lining? Now, come on, detective man, you're smarter than that. Hmm. All kinds of helpful. Yeah, let's let's go with that question. Oh, Daisy is so good with Elliot. She'll help calm him when he's fussy. Okay, this is not gonna work out. Hold up. And they're both such good listeners. That's sweet. But anyway, how can I help you today, Odette? If I could window the, the game, it'd be better. I could just place it out of the way, but whatever. It's probably gonna work anyway. I, um, well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Is he missing? If only. Everything would be so much simpler if he was missing. How so? Excuse me? Well, that's a cryptic way to put it. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, dude, you're you're cool. Oh no, I, I didn't mean. Uh, of course, it was just a, a way to say, just an expression. Are you toying with me, sir? <sighs> Ma'am, I take my job very seriously. You're not in any danger. Of course not. I'd like to. I'd go to the police force if it was something like that. Right. So you suspect he's cheating on you then? I'm pretty sure he is, but what I have won't be enough in court. I need proof. Huh. Well, let's see. Let's see, I could insert myself as I've been doing all this time, but I don't know. It seems like he would answer more to, I don't know, the kind of character he seems to be, he's direct. So if he's indeed having an affair, I can get you what you want. Nah, I'm gonna go with the first option. I like talking for him. That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't be a question. Uh, okay, has your husband threatened to take the children? You know, I'm talking like a cop, not like a PI. That's it. Frankly, I think that's one. Of, that's none of your concern, Mr. Loader. On the contrary, this is relevant to the case. Is it? How? If you need proof for a custody battle, there's a price increase. Ooh, Mr. Loader. Sneaky, sneaky, I see what you do there. Hmm, yeah, okay, let's do this. That's ridiculous, why? The case has more writing on it. I need to use more resources to avoid even the smallest mistakes. All right. Think on your, on your feet, cold-headed, cool-headed, cool-headed. He. He has threatened to take them before, and I've been such a coward, always gave up. But I'm done with it. Daisy and Elliot have suffered enough. I failed them before, and I'm so ashamed. I'm trying to fix this mess. I know this was hard to talk about. Thank you for sharing. I'm trying to be better for the kids. Be brave. I know this is tough, but let's talk about the affair. He hasn't been hiding it well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies and smells funny. You know how that person how a person smells when they just come out of a, a brothel or something? They they really stink. Smell a little fishy if you know what I mean. How do you know he's been missing work? Apes! I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. A gun calls. At first they wondered if he was homesick. I lied for the for, for their first couple of times too. Right, right. Uh, what's the funny smell again? Like perfume, not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint, but it's poignant. A kind of herbal stink. You know, 
like a like a certain Mary 420 no okay fine and you've caught him lying he's bad at it makes lame excuses about it uh, about where he's been sorry not about it right right at what time does he get home when he's late way past work hours unreasonably so and drunk one time I stayed up and asked what he was doing it didn't go well Right, uh, how do you know he just hasn't been out for drinks, you know, with his friends? Y you know what, none of my business. Hold up, has he been aggressive? I really don't think it's re uh, it's relevant, Mr. Loader, and I'd rather move on. Oh, that personal details often make or break a case. Come on, if I'm to present this to you and you to a court, it needs to be legit. I can't see how irrelevant inf information about our match would help. The affair is the only relevant matter and all you need to know about. Right. Well, there's a reason you're hiring a professional. Thanks for the reminder. I'm not hiring a professional to pick and prod at my personal affairs like some sort of vulture. I am hiring a professional to follow my husband after work and take some, <laughs> and take some incriminating pictures as I can show a divorce mediator or two or so. I don't like her. Is she a bear? Feels like she's a bit rude. Also, it's a bit hypocritical of her to be hiring a professional to do these things, but not my place. I'm the PI. So let's talk about the details. I need a picture and information about his routine. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? All right, let's start with the basics. What does he look like? Well, let's see. He's big, brown, fuzzy, has a bit of a nose, a uh, little black nose. Um. Uh, oh, he loves honey, though don't believe the naysayers. That's just a myth. Here's the photo. He's an otter, of course. Oh, oops. I'm so sorry. You look like a bear from here. Your profile and all that. A bit shorter than you and kind of chunky. He wears glasses, the square kind, and his wedding band, as far as I know. And he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Right. Where can I, uh, no. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I can write the address down for you. Thanks. Where can I find him usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work, occasionally before. Now it's been, it's become more frequent. This is going to be a problem, I know. All right, uh, what's his full name? This is very important. Jeremy Green. I think people work at work on Jez for short. Right, and have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them, but he mentioned some guys from time to time. Sometimes... He hangs out with them after work. Again, how do you know he just hasn't been out drinking and he's tired of your sass? Oops, sorry. Anyway, I'd be able to pick him out of a crowd? Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has, a, he has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. You mean like the thing you're... Uh, you know what, never mind. That's all I need. Uh, now for the awkward part. Payment. Because that's always the awkward part. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses during the investigation. Cha-ching! You know, every time, every time I want that lemonade from the corner or just, you know, a cigarette, you're gonna pay for it, lady. I've got a lot riding on this. And I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. Please, be careful and don't get caught. If you do, I'm as good as dead. Wait. Has he been aggressive then? You know what? Never mind. Alright, I, I understand. I'll get on it. Odette, talk to you soon. Right then, new objective. I should probably leave then. Whoa! Tab to access, to access the detective menu. My office. Log objectives. Find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity. He works at the Wolf Bank on Granville. It's a good place to start. Oh, that was my objective before she arrived. Tidy up. That makes more sense. All right then, out we go. To Granville. So the apartment may have been small and you really can't, f oh my goodness. You really can't fathom the extent of how beautiful the graphics or the pixel art is. But just look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful, so refined. It feels like I'm actually walking through a street, a city street and Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. <laughs> Especially the puke part. Just look at that water effect on the on the road. Oh. 
I mean, it may not even be an effect. I don't know what it is, but it is gorgeous. Oh, man. Furman and Sons. One slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Man. Please don't go and kill someone. It feels so alive, and the day I bought a bike, Citizen Maine, Johnny and John, don't drive. <laughs> this place feels really alive. There's a lot of life to this, and I love it already, even if it's only 2.5D, and even if it's only a demo, but if this is what a taste of this feels like, then great. The Great Apes, The Great Story, Documentary, A Story of just uh, Order, sorry, not Justice, A Story of Courage. Oh, A Story of Justice. This has been running for a year now. That is what I call a popular movie. And Natalie. Hey, man. Oh, sorry. Not like that. <clears throat> hey, my man. Where to? I'm looking for someone. Got a moment? Nah, I have no business remembering peeps. Oh, uh, uh, pe peeps, not people. Wanna have a great story, man? Um, sure. Go ahead. So my wifey, Estrella. Estrella, sorry. And I... We got a second lad coming up soon. Second? You guys lucky. We are, we are. And it's a big one. E SE is as round as a beach ball. So I tell her, Woman, you're getting any bigger and I won't fit you into the trunk of a car. Ho ho! My man, okay. Great, uh, can you ask... Can you <laughs> answer a couple of my questions first? Rude? What do you want? I'm looking for an otter named Jazz. Works at Wolfbank. Have you seen him recently? I don't know. Try looking at the bar down the street. Have you seen him there? Now, Mr. Howie, what do you let me work? You're scared enough, my clients. All right, talk to you later. Sorry if I'm not being too, uh, uh, too much of a conversationalist, if you will. But I just I, I want to get down to the case. Vogue. You did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Same with video games, man. If people played more video games, I can assure you there would be less violence. Because that's complete bullshit that uh, violent video games make violent people. That up there looks really cozy, that horse in the office. I is it an office? I can't tell, but this place is so alive. I love it. Eden Simmons is the rising job... Jazz, not Jub. Jazz star. See her tonight, only at Bike Club. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Who are you asking? Not me. Unless you know of my existence, in which case you're scaring me, man. Wolfbank, this is where Green works. It's closed. Yeah? Good evening. How are you doing, gentlemen? Why do you care? Rude! Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man recently? The fuck? Jazz? <laughs> What's going on? Private detective. Uh, no, no, Lo Mr. Howard Loader, that is not a good idea. You never announce your intentions. I could just lie to them, that would be funnier. Oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Well, so I had a Derek here because you're probably not going to see your money again. I'll try to find the asshole anyway. Have you seen him today? Hi, Derek. When's the last time you saw him? Today, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared that Derek's gonna split his wig. <laughs> Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Could he be with someone now? Maybe a girlfriend? If you reckon harlots are sort of girlfriends, then sure. Could be one of them for, for all I know. What do you think he had it after work? What do you say, boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs? Jesus! These guys don't hold their tongue. I love it. Only apes know. So is ape like God? Only God knows, only apes know? Hm, I don't know. Did your boy spend time with him outside work? No, I can't talk. I can't call him an asshole. I mean, he is, but I can't. I have to be professional. Yeah, we used to have a blast at the, the bite every Thursday. He's not fun anymore, though. The bite. Could he be there now? If he is, be sure to let him know he's as good as dead. Good luck, Rack. It's your thing. Thanks for your help, uh, Slick. Alright. 
Oh, I, I, I want some fish rooms. Please, give me. Oh, yeah, that, that tastes so good. Also, this line, is it just for... Oh, it's probably for the blue bite. Hmm, might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Oh, my man. Stop it. I love it. Whoever wrote these lines, you're beautiful. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. Hey, we can tell we're in Canada. I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you, tiny stripper man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold the phone, Mr. Bear. Now that's a bear. I'm no stripper man, so I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'll go out the back then. Hold shift to run. Yeah, I got it, but why would I... Down the alley, Lucius. Fourteen ninety nine for a trim? What madman would pay for something they could do at home with a pair of scissors? Control to enter crouch mode, control again to stand up. Alright, good, but I'm not- I don't have the need to crouch yet. Oh my god, just- uh, There's something so cozy about... A city at night. Rainy mood. Just... People in their own little environments. This guy on the- On his windowsill just... Chilling. That other one up there watching TV. This guy making deliveries. Uh, I don't know, I just get such a warm feeling watching it. So nice to watch. Shoot, that's Downey right there in the police booth. He'll eat my brains out if he sees me. Oh, whoops. Guess that's what we crouch for. And the, and the neon lights, and it's just, it's all so nice. Okay, let's go down the alley then. I want to see more of it, I do, but oh boy. Oh, I don't think I entered the right place. This place looks like a bit sea, like, uh... Hey, Larry! Oh, oh jeez, okay, sorry, I don't want to interrupt you and in, you're in your puking, sir. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? Uh, that guy's just puking his brains out, okay. It's me! It's been too long! What's going on, old man? I actually read man, okay, good. Ha! <laughs> ha Who you kinda know, old man, you old rascal? Ah, alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags uh, really don't help my appearance any. Didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Well, who really expects to see anyone of note in this back alley, huh? What's going on? What are you up to? Uh, I'm, a, I'm still a private detective, man. I'm happy for you. My gig kind of went down since then. What happened? Ran out of places to crash. What are you doing these days? Uh, sorry, Larry. Not your fault, man, but who would have thought I'd see you again with my own eyeballs? Isn't that great? Something about Larry strikes me as a cuddly character. And it's not the fact that he's a raccoon, oh no. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's right, you're right. Uh, listen. Let me know if you need anything, deal? Sure thing. Now what's your deal? Well, I'm looking for this auto guy. Have you seen him around you recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife, who is now struggling to get a divorce. Would that be professional? He's a friend, but I can't... Hmm. I mean, he's a friend. Yeah. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. That's the perfect answer. Eh, like they do. What's he like? He's about my height. Chubby, wears a green hat. No, I'm a PI. I have to ask with the photo, with the, the proof. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Hope you find him. You always knew what to do with guys like that. Come back anytime. I'm here often and hear people talk. Thanks. I'm catch I'll catch you later. Bye. Alright, Larry is cool. Sir, please. Oh god, he's gonna do it again. Oh, there we go. No answer. Even the back alleys. As dirty and rotten as they may seem, there's something cozy about them too. Just... The city life, the night life. Cool. Don't shame my... Please? What? No, never mind. I can't do anything down here anyway. Alright. Um, back out we go. Oh yeah, there's something really beautiful about this. Can't wait for the game already then. Let's see now. Whoops, got a crouch. You don't see me. Downy. Yo! Howard, come over here, boy! Why did I press E? I thought I, the whole point was to sneak past him. You've mistaken me for someone else, officer. Ha <laughs> ha, what are you out to, smarty butt? 
Found a job yet? I have my own PI agency, Donnie. What the hell? Blah, blah, blah. If only you'd cut the bullshit and come onto the force. I can arrange that. Just ask our poor mama, jeez. Thanks for looking out for me, man. But I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, you go now. Call your mom. I will. Bye. Oh, Donnie seems like a bit of a... Uh, I don't know, a little bit nosy. Hey, ice cream, cool. I mean, looks a little dirty, but I'll take it. Quick Omar. Old owner still tending... Owner. Ha, <laughs> nice joke. Still tending to the shop like always. Used to give me a free candy when I was a kid. I should go say hi before he gets driven out by some supermarket chain. Maybe next time. Man, next time might be too late. Next time might be that time when he gets driven out. Just even the people walking in their umbrellas. Well, with their umbrellas. Really nice. Mackenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. You tell him. Foxy Burger. Oh, and the view of the city in the background. That's even better. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then proceeded to puke out his, his not nearly digested tuna burger on my coat. Ew! Ah, the memories this place brings. Well, glad you have some good memories. Garbage bin. Hmm. Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, cigs. Aha! I think it to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. No problem. Hey, Bo. You're a bunny. And you've got a mustache. And a, what was that, a, a flat cap. I love you already. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure, shoot. For a half loon, you can read them with all your own eyeballs. Sure. What's the headline today? Front page today's Great Ape Parade. Preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Thanks, man. See you around. I'm sorry, I don't want to know how business is today. Oh, and wait, 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 and let's just take a look at the subtle lighting effect on the sidewalk and the shadow that uh, Mr. Loader casts. Oh yeah, this is my jam. I am loving this. Really, really. I, I mean, I haven't been, I haven't stopped praising it for the last five minutes, I know, but wow. It's really nice. I should probably run past the cop. Woohoo! Whoa! Don't cause any trouble, young man. Sure thing! <laughs> Run! Alright, bouncer. What? I have the ticket right here. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> You're a funny little fella. So, can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a trash bin. No, but thanks for a good laugh. Wanna hear another joke? Don't test my patience. A bear and the <laughs> a bear and the raccoon walk into a bar. Fuck off! You're no fun. Bye. All right, I guess I have to keep searching for a way in or some clues. Let's look around some more. Maybe there's something else. Gotta run. Ah, and the lighting effect on the movie theater is also really nice. Squirrel. Hmm, I didn't see this guy before. Hey, what's up, old man? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Sorry. What are you? Some sort of pervert? No. Uh, what are you doing here? Just hanging. What are you doing? You could say I, uh, I'm a hanging too. <laughs> From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Hey, bye then. Oh, what a swell guy. All right, we can't actually go anywhere else. Donovan's. All right, I'll just look down the alley again. Oh, such beautiful art. It's it's hard to not look at everything and love it. All right, back down the alley then. Say, Larry. Uh, so what's up? Find your guy? I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and a crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. <laughs> oh, Howard. You may be able to pass as a cat, even though, even but even then you'd be ugly. No, seriously, I need it. Have any ideas? You're in luck. They're my neighbors. Let's see. They use this alley door for deliveries. Or, you can call Johnny. Uh, sorry, ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Is the back door usually open? Unfortunately, 
No, they buzz people in using the intercom. The delivery truck usually arrives late later in the evening. Well then, who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. Johnny! Okay, I gotta go back to him. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? As far as I can tell, you're typical. Like hype, catnip, and shatter fang. Okay, that... H hype is a... It's like Jet from Fallout. It's a weird but easy to remember name for a drug. Catnip is your classic cat drug, and Shatterfang sounds so cool. That's a cool drug name. Don't do drugs. Oh, and get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Ew. Who comes up with these? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Ah, <laughs> oh, Larry. All right. Monkey Butt? Yeah. What's this new thing's the shit? Perhaps a little less figuratively, figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Really stinks of manure if you catch my drift. Does it have a kind of herbal stink? Ah, uh, I've no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Because you'd wipe yourself with herbs? Yeah, ne no, stop thinking about it, Nev. Stop it. Okay. And you think this Johnny guy'd help? I take some convincing, but he's chill. He and the uh, blah 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 blah. But my rings, bet my rings. He's easier to persuade than the bouncer. Your rings? I thought you were a raccoon, not a hedgehog. And what did you mean, Johnny's chummy with the bite? He's friendly with the staff. And I've seen him uh, help cut people cut in line. People cut people, not cut people. People cut in line. His clients, I think. All right, all right. I think the information I've mil- Oh my god, no, don't say it like that. You don't milk out of it. Okay. Maybe Johnny's got some sort of partnership or business with the bite. Could be. Where's your work- What are your working theories? It's gotta be mutually beneficial somehow, right? You might be onto something. I'm not sure. Alright, tell me more about Johnny. What's he like? I don't know him very well. He's young, and he likes his fur gel. Fur gel? Yeah. Maybe it's to, like, to comb his hair. I mean, if he was the cat I just met, ah, cool cat, then probably, yeah, he looked like a, bi a biker or a Fonzie type of guy. Alright, thanks for the information. You got it, Howard. It's no trouble. I welcome the distraction, really. In fact, if you want to know more about the bite, all you gotta do is ask. Alright, I think I got enough. Thanks, man. Man, Larry's so dependable. Gotta love him. Now the real question for me is, what do I do with this game? There's a lot of potential here, and yet... I mean, potential for... He's not a cat, he's a wolf. Oh, that's squirrel, never mind. Wait, who am I looking for then? You're not the guy. And Natalie... Hmm. The question I have in mind is, well... You're like a cat. Hmm. The question I have in mind is... What to use for the thumbnail? I think I already know, but at the same time, it's like, eh. Everything's so pretty, I don't know what to use. Alright, let's go back. Hold on, hold on. Let's backtrace our steps. Who's Squirrel? Have I seen him before? Did I meet him? Are you Squirrel? Or Downy? I can only assume Squirrel is down the alley. And if not, I gotta talk to anyone else, really. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find Squirrel. Yo, Larry, do you know where Squirrel is? I'll be back when I sniff something out. Squirrel. Yo, have you guys seen a squirrel? Hmm. Alright, never mind. Have you seen a squirrel? We'll see ya. Okay. Have you seen a squirrel? Oh! What? That was always Squirrel? Huh. Hey, what's up, old man? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Me. Are you Johnny? Yeah, r yeah, right. What do you need? Got Shatterfang? Oh no, I gotta ask for Monkey Butt. Can you get me to the bite? Depends. Why? I want that stanky shit. Heard they got it in there. Don't know what you're talking about, man. Sniff your armpits, maybe? <laughs> Cut the bullshit. I know they deal monkey butt. The fuck? Who told you that? It goes around. Well, I didn't hear nothing like this. No luck, old man. Kid, I know I'm a bore, but I really need your help. Would you please lend me a hand? 
Just lead me through the bouncer. That's all I'm asking. Hank has good reasons for not letting any old weirdo is in. I might help, but what's in it for me? Chill. Listen, I'm a detective. A target is in there. If you help me now, I might be of use to you later. This. This is the right one. What? Are you serious? Prove it. Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if I wasn't serious? <laughs> now, I don't need to prove anything to you, but I might consider not turning you to the cops if you help me out. You feel me? What the fuck did you just say? I said I can still smell the stench of farmlands on you, village boy. Lead me into that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ho, ho. Hold on, Howard. See that police dog down the street? That's Downey, my friend, and I bet he'd love to sniff your pockets. You feel me? Oh, God. You are going down the wrong direction, but I, I, can't, I feel like I can't pull back now, so go for it, Howard. Fuck you. I'll get you in, but I hope you overdose and get eaten alive. Joe, okay. Jesus. Whoa, calm down, Johnny. My feral geese. Meet me at the entrance. All right, right after you. I, I think I could have handled that a little better, but... You know what, Howard? It's not my place to, to, to judge how you do things or how I do things for you. So. So? So, oh, so. Talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? What? Here's Johnny! Did you really just name him to make that joke? Oh, jeez, okay. Hey, Johnny, where have you been? Stripper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. I'm loving the game already. And it's not even a full game. It's just a... Oh, look at the smoky atmosphere. This looks like a real seedy club, but... Oh, man, oh, man. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies. All a little too high-end for my taste. You betcha. Colby. Hey there, you here for Eden Seaman Shao too? I'm so happy to see her live, finally. I haven't, I haven't heard of her before. That's a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for her. Wow, that is dedication, but I feel it, I feel it. May seem a bit extravagant, but definitely worth the investment. She's mostly all I listen to. Hey! Have you ever... Are you that kind of person? Because I know I am. Once you stick to a music, you just stick to it. You don't bounce from song to song. I thought I heard a song in the background of something I know, but never mind. But it's the first time you're catching her live? Hell yeah, my mom doesn't approve of of a place. Jeez, oh, had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Heh, <laughs> me, me, me too. How come, if you don't mind me asking? Eh, I don't think she stepped in a bar like this. This place is about ten minutes, uh, ten times sleazier in her head. Sounds like it was worth it. It's good music. <laughs> well, you can only be sure if you stay the whole show. You know, I had to do my share of sneaking to be here tonight as well. Oh, calling me intrigued. If not for the music, then what are you sneaking around for? Can you keep a secret? Across my heart, I'm looking for a man. Here's the photo. Oh, crap, I skipped an option. Damn, double click, okay. I think, I think I saw him walk in earlier tonight. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jade-colored dress. Is his hat green? Oh, yes, and so is his tie. I thought he was funny. Alright, uh, did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure. Okay, thanks. I'm sorry for the double click, honestly. Uh, you, you shouldn't be on stage, dude. You're in the way. Okay, never mind. Isn't this too dreamy? Listen, I'm looking for someone. Someone to dance with? God, I love this music. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for Jeremy Green, an otter. Have you seen him? I haven't, sorry. Are you sure? He would have been wearing a green hat and glasses. Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. Yeah, I know, I approached that a little bit more, uh... Roughly, you could say, but you have a green dress. Are you it? Hey, honey. Name's Ingrid. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for a friend. Maybe I've seen him. He's an otter, about as tall as I am. I haven't seen any about tonight. Maybe he's late. 
He wears a pair of a, a pair of square-shaped glasses. Sorry, honey, I haven't seen your friend. Maybe he's late. Were you supposed to meet here? Yeah, Jess loves this place. From what he said, he's a regular. Maybe you know him, Jess Green? I don't think so. I've never heard of him. That's strange. His co-workers tease him because he spends all of his time here. Well, though I don't exactly keep tabs on bar customers, that's out of my purview. Was that intentional? Hmm. Alright, uh, understood. Have a great evening. Gotta keep sniffing around then. Hey, TV! Clarissa! You don't have a green dress, but man, you tick. You look a little lost. That obvious? I wouldn't have bothered pointing it out otherwise. What gave it away? I'm sorry if they all have western voices, by the way. You've been chatting up anyone who'll talk to you. Ah, here I thought I was being friendly. What advice? People who come to drink would rather be left alone. Yeah, that's true. Nonsense. Spars are prime spots to meet new people. Oh, jeez, no, don't do that. Oh, no, I'm quite enjoying the company. What brings you here today? Not just... Not trying to stir up trouble, are you? Wouldn't dream of it. Just trying to break out of the old routine. How's that working for you? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation. That makes it two of us. So, to whom do I have the pleasure? Howard Loader. Private investigator. Ooh, right off the bat. Nice one. Exciting. And what made you think you'd, you'd be welcome here? Why wouldn't I be? I'm a guest like every other person here. I don't think so. I would have to ask you to leave. And who are you? Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. And don't worry, Mrs. Loader. We'll be seeing each other again very soon. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. And I got tossed out just like that. Seems like I didn't get my answer. Hmm. Did I fail this demo? Clarissa Bloodworth. She's hiding something. Green is there. I just need to find another way in. Aha! Now we go down the alley. Probably. Though, yo, Florence, what you looking at? Are you alright? Nah, hmm. I don't want trouble. I just need to get into that building there. <laughs> it's evil, you know. You're better off staying away. Uh, why do you say that? Would you care? Mind your own. Well, uh, can you help me get in? No, do you or did you work at the bite? Piss off! What kind of game you play in? I told you I'm not leaving till I get her back. Who? What? I. Okay, uh, get who back? Are you looking for someone? Heh, <laughs> right. Make like you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir, I'm on to you. And I'm not moving from this spot till you let me talk to my daughter. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. I think you've got me confused with someone else. You're not one of them thugs? What thugs? I'm, I'm really just here on my own business, dude. You're really aiming to get into that ditch. Yeah. You know how? Maybe. I mean, not really. Tried to go to the door, but damn, filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. What happened to your daughter? She's in that filthy. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. And I've been coming for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm a mother, damn. Oh, you're a mo Okay, you're a lady. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm a mother, damn it. Uh, who says a, a fine lady can't have a gruff voice like this? What's she doing in there? Kid decides she's gonna make it all on her own, lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her. I know it. They won't let me see her. Her own mother. My poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Great fur. Name's Rosie. No. Name's Rose. Okay. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She's just in 20, you see. They don't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they had a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm going to burn this ditch to the ground. How are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know she is. I can sense her. Alright. When did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago. We had a fight. So, she's been visiting the bite before? Told me she was waitressing. Wait, waitressing. Liar. I asked around. This ditch... This ditch... I think that's a bit of a... Typo. This ditch is a filthy drug den for whores. Fucking liar. Yeah, so you thought about her job at the bite, and when was the last time? And that was the last time you saw her? What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. 
tell her I'm waiting out here. They have they haven't told her, I'm sure. All right, uh, you said you tried the code to the intercom. I memorized it word for word. Great fire. Damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Uh, do you know of any other way in? No. I've heard voices up on the roof, but how do you get? But how do you get there? Oh, how do you get there? Alright, thanks for helping me out. I better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please. Take care. So many colorful folks in this place. Whoa, truck. The delivery truck. The door is open. Why would you... Alright, break in. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There's a weird looking recording uh, device on the dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. Open the compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. Alright, go through the newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone has been reading them though. Read the headlines. September 22nd. Epidemic continues to afflict Fuzzdale. Geese may be spreading disease. Whoa. Okay. October 2nd. Vicious attack at the wall leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Man, this place is alive, even if it's just through the newspaper. Look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Alright, good to know. How about the device now? It's a voice recording device hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. There are several tapes that you can insert and listen to the recordings. Select, select today's tape then. You insert today's tape. Last recorded conversation is a male talking to someone on the intercom. Where have you been? We expected you one hour ago. Great fire, dammy. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Oh, good lord. That's not the code. Oh, boy. Select tapes with dates from the invoices and newspapers. Ooh, that's it. September 22nd. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. I can't continue working like this. Stanley lost the, tr the truck keys again. Alright. You're late. We have five packages ready for, for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the truck. Alright. Guess I gotta try that out. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. Uh, Great fire, dammy. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Is this a prank? Get out. Oops, guess that was wrong. Can I try again? Yeah. Again? Okay. We have five packages ready for a pickup. Ooh. Hmm. I think I need to match the answers, but... Let me see something. Five it is then. Let me in. Please go away. I'm tired of this shit. Hold on. Let me try reading the answers again over here. Okay. I think I got it. Let's see. Are you daft? We have four packages here. Prepare them for pickup. Yeah, there's no actual... Okay, this is this wasn't in the options before. Prepare them for pickup. Come on in. Thanks, going in. Yeah! That was just the logical answer this time around. Freight lift. Ooh, there's something cozy about a crowded kitchen or, or storage place too. Dirty pots. This doesn't look very clean. I wouldn't eat here even if they didn't kick me out. You don't want to go that way, you want to go up the freight lift. Freight lift, sorry. Packaging lift going downstairs. You need the turnkey. Oh, alright, let's go find the turnkey then. Uh oh. You failed, don't get- whoops, ha! <laughs> alright, oh, that reloaded fast, good. I can probably sneak past this guy- yeah, there we go! I know how to. Oh. Press control to crouch. Enemies won't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Got it. The stank is coming from the end of the hall. Green might be there, but I have to be careful not to get caught. Oh no! 
I'm not here. You didn't see me. La da 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 da. Oops. Shit. All right. Let's try that one more time. Oh crud. Okay. Oh, you don't. You didn't see me. You saw me last time. There you go. Nope. No, 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 no. Open door. Oof, where am I now? I think the game is glitching out. Is that missing though? This should be by the second floor, staff room for girls. Maybe I'll find something useful to lead me to green or some sort of evidence. Huh, alright. Cosmetics and mirrors. Seems Odette had the right hunch. Oh, we have a mirror here. Alright, get this out of the way. Darling, could you take a minute to clean tell me not what's this need to pick up Ooh, cool I think that's it then let's see what I pick up inventory gift box found this in the staff room at the bite belonged to one of the girls Rose Rose eh parsley brew also known as anti baby potion yep bites definitely a brothel Jeez, man. Okay. Let me see now. Can I get past this guy? No, stop it. Stop. Dude. Okay, we're gonna run. No. Wow, okay, I didn't expect that. There we go. Finally got past that guy. Meow, look at that sexy cat. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. Oh, I didn't expect that to work. Oh, that's scary. That is scare scary and terrifying. Private room, go. Shit, I missed him. He's just been here. I can smell the monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. Not a painting, that's for sure. A green tie stuck behind the frame. What if I budget? What the? A secret lift? And green went in there? I wonder what's on the other side. Alright. Green's green hat. Yeah. Herbs? That must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks! Oh boy, alright, let's go. I might just as well take a shot, get in there and press a button, find the guy, or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. What is my life getting to? Let's go. The fuck is this place? What are they listening? What are they burning here? Clothes? That's a good question. Scissors. Should I take these in case I need to cut something to get out of here? Or someone? Jeez. A freezer. Green wine and an ice cream? Doesn't make sense. I gotta keep digging. Corkboard. Whoa, an intercom. It's an intercom connected to the rooms in the building. There's a list of extensions close by. Dial kitchen. Kitchen listening. I want to order a large pizza, pineapple on top. Yes! You like your pineapple on your pizza. You are a good man. Pineapple on a pizza, are you crazy? Wait, don't go anywhere. Uh oh, I think somebody's coming. Door's closed, but this hatch is open. I might be able to crawl and crawl and cr crouch and crawl through to whatever other. Shit. To whatever other creepy area there is. Alright, fine, 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 fine. Always wondered what when I'd end up in a place like this. Yippee ki yay! Man, even the vents have nice lighting, huh? Three cooks. I can't get caught now. Oh shit! Is this supposed to help me somehow? The wires aren't doing anything. Huh. All right. Oh no! I can't get past this guy. Okay, let's see. Okay, I got someone from the kitchen to come see. Maybe this helps. Yeah, there we go. That should be enough. The timing should be right for the picking. Wires, 
Yep, okay, now we got the last guy out of here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, made it. Inspect the locker. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe you. Lovely. Okay, let's take this out of the way, take this out of the way. We got something like a map here. A couple of cards, too. The wall is an embrace. Alright. Square circle, diamond triangle. Okay, sure. I sure hope this isn't some kind of thing I need to look at, uh, look into. These weird papers. No. Greg, keep turnkey downstairs by your station. Nice. Thanks for being a doofus, Greg. <laughs> Alright. Code lock. Oh no. It's a numerical code. But maybe the square triangle thing is actually a clue to that. Let's see. Maybe I need to match the size of the things, like this one. Is pointing to circles. So the second number is a four, right? And it, it perfectly fits the size of that one photograph. Okay, the next one then could probably be this one. Ooh. Yeah, it fits perfectly. V and A? What? I don't get it, but A1. Maybe triangle is a one, so four, one, diamond is five. Oh no, never mind. How does this make sense? Hmm. This is probably for the card then. No shit, five. And the last one, uh oh. Oh, this one, of course. Ah, it fits perfectly. Okay, so this is, let me just toss this aside, okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Triangle then, right, so. Zero, four, Five, one. Should be it. There we go. Aha, that's me. That's using my old noggin. Whoa, it's pretty dark in here. Even the ambiance is here. In here is perfect, actually. Okay, this is a long hallway. I did not expect this. What are we looking for? Oh no. Wait, let's go back this way. Is there anything this way? No. Okay, we have to go that way. Got it. Run! Lights. Oh my fucking... What? Oh no. Green's dead! Fuck. What have you gotten yourself into? Alright, let's hide. Oh, Jesus. Some body harvesting, some, some organ selling things? Ah. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ugh, okay, coming. On a cut? Oh, no. Are they selling... Animal meat? To, to people? Which in this case would be like selling people meat to people. Packages. Delivery order, bite foods, LLC, to Starling Cider Limit. Oh no, what the fuck is this? It's flesh? Oh no. That's not good. Sorry, Jazz. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Key. The turnkey. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Maybe. Green's gonna be butchered for food. They're, they're eating people. Howard, run now. I agree, dude. Run. Up here. Use the lift. We can get out now, perfect. 
Uh, where do I go? Uh oh. Oh, escape. Hey, we even got a little cutscene here. Don't puke, man. Keep it cool. Oh, okay, never mind. It was too much. Okay, I think this is the end of the demo anyway. But man, what a start. Rainy mood and all. This is looking amazing. Really, really amazing. A very classy game too. Nice, nice, okay. As if I couldn't sing my praises enough and you didn't hear me say it enough already. I love the music. I love the art style. I love the visual effects. I love the writing. And I'm excited to play this game when it comes out. I get the small indie team too because I've searched up Egna and they don't have anything else. So if this is your first game, great. Good first impression, guys. And so that was the prologue to Backbone. Ah, it's nice. It's very nice. Uh, but that'll have to do it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, thumb wrestle with that like button down below. Leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell button for more notifications. But as always, I'm the only me, so you be the only you. See you next time.